in the name of God. Mr. Chairperson, Excellences, ladies and gentlemen, I would like to take the opportunity to render my sincere thanks to the Secretariat, Secretariat of um, Committee of Forestry of FAO for excellent arrangements made to organize this meeting, especially Dr. Kyu Dang Yu, Director General Food and Agricultural Organization of the United Nations, and Dr. Shin Wan Sap, uh, Chairperson of the uh, 25th session of the Committee of Forestry, and wish all success for your deliberations in attending the goals of sustainable forest management. Mr. Chairperson, distinguished delegates, forests provide many ecosystem goods and services and play a vital role in human lives worldwide. Health and food security of a major part of population are directly and indirectly depend on forests all around the world. At the moment, employment and uh, subsistence of 25% um, of people around the world depend on forests, and forests are home to 80% of species. The Islamic Republic of Iran as a member to the global community is committed uh, to the implementation of environmental conventions and is taking all measures to conserve forests at national level in line with SFM. Based on the latest statistics, Iran is among countries that have achieved food security uh, through development forestry and expansion of forest cover. In this connection, the initiative of Republic uh, of Islamic Republic of Iran to halt harvesting in the Hyrcanian forest is a unique and historical decision based on qualitative and quantitative evaluation of forest ecosystem in the Hyrcanian region uh, that prohibits industrial logging from forests in line with strengthening the life-giving ecological goods and services of forests in terms of water uh, supply, soil conservation, health well-being, uh, recreation functions, and their role in busting sustainable development indexes. Based on latest statistics, uh, as the result of implementation of logging ban initiative, all classical loop based forestry oper operations in, uh, in an area of 1 million hectare have been terminated that would be replaced by forest rehabilitation and conservation plans. The initiative can be replicated as a model in interested countries by international uh, uh, specialist uh, agencies. The strategy of FRWO in the next two decades is, the, is to restore forest ecosystem with emphasis on human communities as an integral part of these ecosystems. This is carried out through policy reform, revision of laws and regulations in enhancing conservation and prevention of land use change in natural forest, uh, diversification of financial resources and development of renewable energies applications for firewood. The main achievement of Islamic Republic of Iran in the recent decade can be summarized as development of plantations and man-made forests with uh, indigenous uh, and multi-purpose forest species through participatory mechanism, expansion of wood uh, agronomy with fast growing species tolerant uh, to salinity and uh, aridity aimed to provide part of wood requirements at home and development of urban and uh, peri-urban forestry aimed 
at minimizing air pollution and increasing forest per capita for citizens. Mr. Chairperson, distinguished delegates, despite all efforts and progress made by the global community to control deforestation and forest degradation, the terrestrial ecosystems are still at risk. UN predicts that by 2050, we will need an extra uh, 593 million hectares of agricultural land to produce enough food for the world population. One of the um, grave consequences of this phenomen phenomenon is the exacerbation of land degradation, dust and sandstorms and uh, depletion of uh, underground water resources. Therefore, it is uh, imperative that the ecosystem management as part of the solution undergo a paradigm shift with emphasis on integrated management of land, water, and biological resources in uh, upstream and downstream, conservation of biodiversity, improvement of unsustainable and fragile ecosystem, particularly uh, forests and wetlands and hot spots prone to wind and water erosions. Diversification of rural economics and livelihood through added value change of raw materials and creation of green jobs and eventually press for smart agriculture and sustainable land and water models that integrate modern technology with traditional knowledge through participatory mechanisms. Mr. Chairperson, distinguished delegates, nowadays desertification is threatening the security of our cities all around the world, mainly as the result of human interventions and climate change. This further emphasizes the role of adaptation measure in forestry and forest management. Land degradation and cyclic drought in the region um, have uh, exacerbated uh, transboundary sand and dust storms uh, occurrence that are affecting cities and even forest ecosystem in west part of Iran. The occurrence of dust storm in the recent decade has increased both in terms of uh, incidence and distribution in such a way that even areas not being affected in the past are now experiencing uh, severe impacts. In this connection, I would like to thank FAO for taking a lead in addressing SDS in agriculture by developing an inter-regional TCP project aimed at SDS control disaster risk re re reduction strategies in the agricultural sector and coordinated uh, responses frameworks and climate smart agricultural within the UN uh, coalition's strategy and based on the requests of countries which are located on the so-called SDS risk belt. Nevertheless, the way out of this crisis rests uh, in the adoption of a comprehensive, systematic, and targeted solution for the management and mitigation of sun and dust storm impacts through analysis and uh, forecasting of natural and human-induced ch changes in different geographical areas parallel to uh, constant monitoring and assessment using early warning system and sharing information and enhanced cooperate, cooperation among affected countries in Middle East and West Asia. Mr. Chairperson, ladies and gentlemen, finally, the Islamic Republic of Iran announces its uh, readin readiness uh, to collaborate with the global 
community in the field of natural resources management, especially sand and dust storm mitigation that is uh, exerting heavy pressure on human, social and economic, economic asset, uh, assets in partnership with UN uh, specialist uh, agencies, especially FAO and welcomes and any initiative in adopting a comprehensive strategy and roadmap to address the issue in line with SFM realizations. Thank you for your attention.